Hey gang, as promised, we're gonna do a little down and di dirty video here. It's not gonna be any, by any means short, I'm sure, but uh, just thought I'd go through and do a video of the tractor, how it works, how it drives, what I did to it. Um, I guess we'll start with the battery since we're here. I made a simple little battery hold down on a quarter inch round bar and some angle iron here just some scraps I had laying around works good battery still removable that's all I care about didn't cost me anything the whole drive here was all uh, busted this uh, center bearing and these pulleys and gears and all that were actually laying down in here I had to bring all this up and uh, I did the best I could with straightening it um, like I said on the garden tractor talk forum there, this, this thing was such a mess when I started and I didn't want to put any money into it. I just wanted to make it functional and operate without putting a lot of money into it, and which I did. Everything I put on here, except for this clamp, um, I had laying around. I had to buy this, but uh, everything else I had. Hopefully the audio turns out it's pretty windy today. Um, oh geez, where do I start? Um, pretty unusual starter drive. I've never seen one set up like this. Um, it's actually facing backwards. Most of the time, the drives face the flywheel end of the engine. I've never seen one orientated like this before. It's uh, pretty unusual, but cool nonetheless. Works well. I uh, haven't had any problems with it. Um, as you can see, the... Uh, clutch pedal here disengages the pulley there on the engine that's what takes tension off the belt allows you to shift I'm not sure if the transmission is synchronized or not I highly doubt it is it's supposedly out of a anywhere a 37 to a 40 Dodge truck so um, I would highly doubt that it's synchronized, but you can shift on the fly without any grinding. It works well. Um, you can see the brake here, which is activated by this lever here. All it does is compress the shoes there on the drum. Works good. Steering looks to be homemade. I'm not quite sure um, what the guy all used for parts. If it's uh, the tie rod ends, I'm sure, are purchased, but everything else looks homemade. Um, the rear end, I have no idea what the rear end is out of, nor do I know what the frame or steering gear is out of. But it's definitely all homemade, and it runs and drives well. Um, it's a 43 Briggs ZZ, single cylinder, of course, air cooled, all cast iron, except for this bracket here holding the starter on this is cast aluminum like I said when I touched on it before I don't know if that's factory or not it's quite unusual but nonetheless very cool um, three speeds with reverse um, belt driven to chain and then to the gearbox and then of course the drive shaft to the rear axle the tires I don't know what they're off of they're 6x16, six I would guess maybe a David Bradley, not quite sure. Um, the guy I bought it from was unsure. His dad, actually it was the two, the two gentlemen I bought it from were father and son. And um, the older gentleman, it was his dad's, and his dad had built it, and he was unsure what he used uh, or when he built it and what he used to build it. But uh, the steering wheel, I'm thinking, was, it looks like a Copar Panzer, but it could be from God only knows. Um, yeah, so let's get this thing off the trailer and uh, give her a whirl. I'm going to push it off the trailer because I don't have any, I don't have my truck hooked up to the, uh, to the trailer and um, 
I don't want the front of the trailer tongue smashing on the jack when the front of the trailer comes up so I'm just going to push it off the trailer. The controls on the engine are start, choke, throttle and that's the uh, cutoff switch. The throttle is a pull out and twist to lock and yeah let's give this baby a whirl see if she'll fire up and take her for a little toolie. I gotta set the camera down here for just a second. Should be first. The engine's at idle right now. There's, we'll go to second gear. A little bit of a grade there, we'll drive up in a second. Here's third. So that's parking brake. Well, there she is. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.